Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning January 31st, 2022. So let's get into the energies. We're gonna pull some cards here. Right off the bat, I am feeling great change. Um, this is gonna be unpleasant out in the world. We see things heating up in the world, but it, you know, everything that is occurring is shining a light on something that needs to change, right? So for us and how we carry on, it's really imperative that we lift our heads up and not just be thinking of ourselves, all right? And to be really considering how our actions and even whatever energy we're putting out there, how that affects the collective, all right? Really getting down deep with that kind of uh, understanding. Now, this energy might be asking us to reach beyond ourselves. This might be, we've been saying this for a couple of weeks now, difficult conversations. This could be realizing you have to leave a job or even a whole career behind, maybe a relationship behind, or you know, maybe realizing that things are just not what they seemed. There's a whole lot of that going on. Now, as soon as we start talking about that, uh, I feel like a lot of people start to get in this. I knew that people were lying to us. I knew it wasn't like that. And you know, this whole paranoia, quite frankly, <laughs> this paranoia, that's not what we're talking about here, all right? So it is still bringing things to a conclusion, clearing things up. There's a lot of that kind of feeling going on here. And don't think that you're gonna be able to shoot ahead on maybe a goal or something because we are still in a sort of a contemplative space where we're supposed to be stopping, pausing, looking at what is there, right? All right, so let's get some cards going here. I'm not gonna lie, this might be ugh, like a hard truth that you knew, but you've been denying and you just didn't wanna look at it. There it is right in front of your face. Now you have no choice but to look at it. It could definitely be something along those lines. And of course, everybody be taking care of your health. There could be some shakeups around that as well. All right. But then we kind of even out. As we go into the end of the week, things do start to change a little bit. So yeah, that energy that we were just talking about, that might be more in the beginning of the week. And then as the week carries on, for you personally, it could calm down. But again, everybody's energy is different. The only way to know what's really going on is to get a personal reading. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, as of the recording of this video, I am running ahead of schedule. Angelsouls444.com if you want an angelic reading or an Akashic Records reading to help you figure out if you're on your path, am I heading in the right direction, or better, you know, or how can I better handle what's coming at me? So I'm ahead of schedule now, but if everybody rushes in all at once, well then, you know, as I always say, all terms still apply, which means the wait time still does apply. But if you're one of the lucky ones that gets in kind of early, then you might get yours earlier. Okay, so there's that. And then also I launched the Archangel Ariel meditation challenge. So if you want to manifest prosperity, abundance, feel more grounded, be in touch with nature, detoxify, get on over to gumroad.com slash angel souls. If Archangel Ariel is not the Archangel that you want to do a meditation with or to work with, I have so many others over there. Get on over there and check it out. One final thing here, I am doing a writing session with anybody who's interested right after this video premieres. So for this week and until probably further notice, just as soon as this gets done premiering, head right on over to Write With Me. There's a video I already posted, it's called Write With Me. It got posted last week. We'll just pull that one up again and we will all be sitting there writing together and I will be with you doing that. Okay, so there's all that. First card up we have here is Four of Ariel. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. See, that's the thing. Extremes in how you save or spend money. So there could be, again, world events that pop up that really, this is where we would see the stock market starting to go crazy because everyone is panicking or, you know, feeling like you can't make change because the world feels so uncertain. Okay, you see what I'm saying there? But really, the, the outside world starts to feel steadier when we all put a steady energy into it. So look at where you're hanging on too tightly. Where are you trying to be too controlling? Yes, so there's this deep want for stability, 
but when it comes to a controlling kind of energy, when we put that into it, it pushes it right out of our existence. So this might be that kind of thing where you might be trying to force a conclusion and it's not quite ready to be done yet. Or you're trying to get an answer out of somebody, but they're not quite ready to give you that answer. Or, you know, you just want to put something to rest, but maybe you need to warm up to that. So hang on here um, to what is important, but really evaluate this week. Like, where am I hanging on to everything? And it doesn't even matter in the long run, <laughs> right? And this could also be things from the past that you have been hanging on to. All right, six of Ariel. See, Ariel is a big presence here, I'm telling you, showing up. And of course, this year we want to be working with Archangel Sandalfin as well. So this is six of Ariel. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. See, again, it's like saying don't just clamp down. I think, again, I, I remember how we all kind of went into that. Well, I didn't. But people went into like a hoarding kind of thing a couple of years ago because everyone was just so afraid of not having, right? <laughs> That's kind of, you know, it's time to let that go now. So some of us might be in that mentality of I'm so afraid of not having that I'm just gonna suck everything up and, <laughs> right? <laughs> or I'm not gonna allow myself to be balanced essentially is what we're getting at here. But I think this is also talking about you can let go, you can try something new because your needs are going to be met. Don't be afraid of the change. Don't hang on to the old way, thinking that that is the way that you will be the happiest, okay? Let things transform. Yeah, King of Raphael, war, this feels like a person coming in. So this could be, I'll read it here in a second, but this could be um, a friend, a new friend. This could be somebody, maybe it's from the past who's coming back and you didn't realize that they were such an ally or it, you know, there's something here where someone is making you feel okay with where you are. Now, again, we have this, energy here of don't hang on too tightly to what you think you know, <laughs> right? So never come to a situation, they're telling me, never come into a situation thinking you have all the facts. Make sure you hear out the other person. But someone uh, is coming in here and it's beautiful. So yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once, follow your creative passions. And Raphael's all about healing and the heart space. So if there, you know, has been a lot of fear that is cluttered up in us and it's going out into the collective and now we see all this turmoil and you know the, the turmoil's always been there but it's our fears manifesting in an outward way in the collective if we can tap into this king of raphael energy within ourselves that's going to help a ton now some of you might be saying is is this like a new love partner coming in it certainly could be certainly could be and i get chills as i say that so this could be someone coming forward and saying that they love you it doesn't have to be romantic love i mean if you want if that's what you're looking for that's great but it could just be again that feeling of having an ally and maybe you had no idea that person even cared <laughs> right yeah the world we have archangel michael a very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight so don't allow the things that are happening to get you too rattled okay be focused. Really the big message so far for this week, and make sure you check out the dailies as well as we break all this down. But the big message here is to let go and allow yourself to change. Allow yourself to try a different way and the whole world opens up for you. So for some of you out there, you know, a lot of people have been changing careers, um, trying new things in that realm, or, you know, maybe if you've been single, you're finally getting out there and dating again, you know, whatever the case may be, realizing you don't have to follow the old rules. Um, yeah, just try again, this whole message of try something, try a new approach, try a new approach, but that new approach comes from your mindset and your perspective of things, right? Okay? So if you uh, have just gotten so stuck in your ways and so stuck in your opinions and all of that, I mean, that's, that's not really going to serve you now, okay? But it's nice, it has this great energy. There could be, um, ah, I almost dropped the deck, you know how I do. <laughs> there could be this whole um, turnabout or something gets put to rest, uh, tying up loose ends, you know, all of that kind of feeling around this. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's see what the color card is. <laughs> Did we have this before? It's tangerine, be spontaneous and have fun. The number is 17. Take a lighthearted approach. 
because the lighthearted approach is gonna help us stay in the flow. When we start you know, realizing that we gotta be tapped into source, anybody who's spiritual knows that we tap into source to provide. And so, you know, when we are trying to overthink things or again, controlling an outcome or trying to control how we do things, we're pushing, 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 and we just, you know, it's just not the right time. If we relax and let up and things are flowing, everything just falls into place the way it needs to, not the way we necessarily expect it to, but the way it needs to go, right? And I'm thinking of this example of some people who may have like, let's say applied for a job and maybe you haven't heard back yet and it's been two weeks and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna push and I'm gonna follow up. Now, a lot of people might say, well, that's a good thing to do. I feel like in this situation, it's like, okay, kind of back off a little bit because there are so many other things that people are trying to deal with at this time. And I know when I worked in a, a place where, you know, I was handling resumes and all of that, if someone was really too pushy, they didn't get a call back, <laughs> right? So it's this balance. It's saying, you know, it's not really the time to push on anything. We're still, because I'm hearing grinding our gears, we're just like forcing things to go when other things have to fall in place first. Now, here's where this is gonna get really uncomfortable. Because uh, again, I feel like there are going to be, as always, world happenings, right? <laughs> that's not unusual, that's always occurring. But it, it's like we all think we have this solution, right? And let's put this into motion. This might be the government, you know, trying to implement something. And everything in us says no. That's not, that's not right. But because people just want it to be done, they're just throwing any old thing at it, right? So it's the old way trying to solve a new problem, but that's not gonna be solved that way. You feel me? So really, I don't know how else to put this. It really is back off. <laughs> it is this energy of back off and you will see how things fall into place. Back off and maybe, okay, so let's say, let's say you have a crush on somebody and you've been waiting for them to like, make a move or however you wanna see that and you keep kind of pushing or you keep getting super flirty and you know, you might end up pushing it right out of your existence. But if you just chill out a little bit, maybe the person will feel comfortable to, you know, come on over and get to know you or that sort of thing. I'm just making up an example here. But let's talk more about this world card here. Unlock, yeah, this is unlocking potential here and things are going to work out just fine. But I think every single human being out there at some point has an issue with control, <laughs> right? With over planning, being over analytical with their life. And if we just, again, open up, let different possibilities come to you. Even if it's something that you never thought you would be a part of or that you had any interest in or what have you, try it out. Try something new this week and see what that does for you. And as always, watch your intentions too. Yeah, I'm hearing watch your intentions because um, if people are trying to be manipulative or conniving or whatever, as always, it's just gonna backfire on you. All right, so we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.